What we've got is a tripod that takes the mead mount and the mead mount controls the camera position. <coughs> the tripod sits on a frame which consists of bits of aluminium and then underneath is one of the keys to the success of this which is rollerblade wheels of high quality. Only the finest? Only really? the finest. I think they probably cost about five bucks which is quite a lot. But it took quite a lot to find them at the, lot of at the tip shop. Yes, tip yep. shop ones of course. And then they run on rails which are an old bread oven rails. But only the very finest bread the oven finest. rails. One dollar each. Really? Yes. We, we really lashed out there. We did, yes. Yes. We, yes. So quality equipment there. And they're welded. You know the trick is to weld them so that they are fit, so the joints fit perfectly. And then we have the motive unit which is <coughs> three eclectic drills which are, this is the driving force just driven off a 12 volt battery and this is the gearing arrangement. The gearing arrangement goes down to that which is a roughened wheel, it's roughened with a bit of leather which drives the <coughs> nylon blind cord string which doesn't uh, stretch, well it does a bit but not much at this kind of load and then the piece de resistance of the whole thing, the really clever bit really clever bit is the automatic stop switch so you can go and have a cup of tea while he's doing his business and that's this thing the knife switch observe Blink. All in all, a work of genius, Chris. A work of genius and art. And art. And art. Together that we collaborated yes. and made this, this, this modern technological masterpiece for a sum total of about $100. About $100 total. Well, the Hurley Dolly running for the first time outdoors at Mawson's Huts, shooting the eastern side of the huts. We're going to get a view up to Azimuth Hill. This is shortly before the Orion crowd calls in. And then further down there, my other imaging exercise using the Trimble VX LiDAR scanner, doing a high res scan of the western side of Mawson's hut, of the transit hut. <laughs> so an exciting visualisation moment with these penguin visitors roaming through, expressing their interest. The Enigma wrapped in a mystery, yeah. enshrouding an Orion. Pre, a pre-shower Michelle. We only live here in summer, when we go back to Australia. This is summer? This is summer, yeah. Up till when? Uh, in another three weeks.
there's four of them that we found in Boat Harbour some days ago and we retrieved them because they were they were exposed during a very low tide and uh, we would never find them again later mm. on. Mm. <clears throat> so we've brought them back to the laboratory where they're currently stored in some salt water from the harbour. Yeah, they're primarily joining parts, they're highly corroded. The conservation treatment that we'll undertake will just primarily involve removing the salts and the corrosion from the internal parts of the, um, the joining tubes. Um, and that will take a number of years probably to reduce the um, salts and uh, stop further corrosion and uh, then they'll be documented and catalogued uh, with the remaining air tractor parts that we have. So this is a part of the air tractor, it's one of the connecting uh, joints so you can see the frame was a very peculiar kind of series of triangles um, and this is one of those junctions and uh, so it was a series of pipes essentially and you can see that there's sort of um, reinforcing between the, the the two extension pipes and you can see that it all kind of joined together sort of slotted really. Do you anticipate that there will be more pieces to locate? Um, look it's hard to say I, I guess we do hope that we find more parts to it. When we're working on these pieces and you look at them and you, especially things that are highly corroded and a bit an old rusty tin can, you kind of do wonder what on earth it is that you're doing. But when you pull all the objects together and you see them in context and as a group of objects that were used by these men over a period of two years, you, their significance becomes increasingly apparent and they're kind of more mundane conservation work that you do on them. You can pull back and say, yes, it is actually important even though what you're doing is quite Specific. sort of, well I'm saying mundane, but it's, it's, it's comparatively straightforward work. But it's seeing them as a group in their context that leaves you with a feeling of, of really having contributed to the preservation of this site. Got a thing as well? Gonna sing? And as soon as I leave, look what happens, folks.